In the last lecture, we learned how to create, use and drop database in MongoDB. We also learned how to list all the available databases in MongoDB server. So we learned that a database is basically a storage in MongoDB server, which is going to store all your collections, which you will create in that database. Now in this lecture, we are going to have a closer look at what is a collection and how we can create a collection in any MongoDB database. Let's switch to MongoDB shell. And here, first of all, let's try to list all the databases which is available in this MongoDB server. For that, we can run this show DBs command. And as you will notice, currently we have four databases. These three are the system database. This test is also a system database, but this database is not listed here because in this database, we don't have any collection or any document. So that's why it is not listed here when we run this show DBs command. That's what we learned in our last lecture. Now, in order to understand collections, we are going to create a new database. And to create a database, as we learned in the last lecture, we use this use command and then we specify a database name. I am going to call this database eShopping. Okay, now this eShopping database, it is currently not present in our MongoDB server. So what this use command will do is first it will create this database and then it will make this database in use if i go ahead and if i press enter you will see that now we are switched to eShopping database so if i run this db command as we learned this db is an object which points to the currently selected database so if i press enter it is going to return the name of the currently selected database which is eShopping. Let's go ahead and let's clear the console by typing CLS command. So the currently selected database is eShopping. Now this eShopping database we have created newly. So in this database, we don't have any collection or any document. And to prove that this database does not have any collection, we can run this show collections command. If I press enter, you will see that it is returning empty string. That means there is no collection in this eShopping database. Now, in the introduction lecture, we learned that a collection is like a table which can store related data. But instead of storing data in the form of rows and columns, like we have in relational database, a collection stores JSON-like object, which is referred to as documents. So in simple terms, we can say that a collection is basically a collection of documents. Let's now go ahead and let's learn how we can create a collection in a MongoDB database. There are different ways in which we can create a collection in a MongoDB database. And the simplest way to create a collection in a database is by inserting a new document in a collection. So for that, we can say DB, which points to the current database, in this case, eShopping. In that, let's say we want to insert a document in users collection. So first of all, we need to specify the collection name, which is going to be users. Now this users collection does not exist in this eShopping database. So what we are going to do is we are going to try to insert a new document in this users collection, which does not exist yet. And to insert a document, we are going to use insert one command. And to this insert one command, we need to pass a JavaScript object, which will be inserted as a document in a collection. To pass a JavaScript object, we are going to use a set of curly braces because that's how we create a JavaScript object. And here I'm saying JavaScript object because if you remember in the last lecture, I told you that in Mongo shell, we write JavaScript like syntax. So if you want to create a document in Mongo shell, we create it like a JavaScript object. Here I'm going to have a name property. Let's say name is John. I'm going to have an age property. Let's say age is 28. And I'm going to have a gender property. And let's say gender for John is male. So this is the document which I want to insert in this users collection. Now this users collection currently does not exist. So MongoDB will first create this users collection. And in that collection, it is going to insert this document. And this is the simplest way of creating a new collection by trying to insert a document in a collection which currently does not exist. So if I go ahead and if I press enter, you will see that we have received this result. 
this result simply means this is basically the acknowledgement that this document has been created so that's why acknowledged is true and for that document since we have not specified an underscore id field for that document explicitly mongodb is going to add an underscore id field for that document which is assigned with this object id so this is the unique id which has been created for that document now to check if this user collection has been created or not in this e shopping database let's say show collections if i press enter you can see that now in this e shopping database we have a collection called users and if we want to query this users collection to do that on the database so this db object is pointing to the currently selected database this e shopping database on that we want to query the users collection so here we will specify the collection name which is users and to query it we are going to use this find method and this find method is going to fetch all the documents from this users collection and it is going to return us that list of documents so if i press enter currently in this users collection we have only one document you can see here and as you can see this find method has returned us an array basically it is returning us a list and in that list we will have all the documents which is present in that users collection so there you can see name is john age is 28 gender is male so the same values which we specified here but along with these three fields mongodb has also added this underscore id field and it has assigned it with this unique object id so remember that when we use this insert one method on a collection to insert a document if that collection exists then that document will be inserted in that collection but if that collection does not exist then mongodb will first create that collection and then it will insert the document in that collection so this is one way of creating a collection by trying to insert a document in a collection which currently does not exist let me go ahead and let me clear mongodb shell now another way of creating a collection is by creating it explicitly using create collection command so on this db object which points to the currently selected database we can call create collection command create collection method and to this create collection method we need to pass a name for the collection so here i am going to pass the name of the collection as products okay you can specify any name the name with which you want to create the collection if i go ahead and if i press enter you see we have received this response okay is one that means this products collection has been created in the currently selected database which is this e shopping and to prove that if i run this show collections command in this e shopping database you will see that now we have two collection products and users so using this create collection command also we can create a collection explicitly now this create collection command takes one mandatory parameter this create collection method it takes one mandatory parameter which is the collection name but apart from that it also takes a second argument that second argument is optional and we call it as options object so let me go ahead and let me use this create collection method one more time here let's say i want to create a logs collection in this logs collection we want to store all the logs of our application okay so the collection name is going to be logs and the second argument it is an optional argument so if you want you can pass it if you don't want you can omit it this second argument is basically an object we call it as options object and in here we can specify some options one of the options is capped so this capped is a property to which we need to assign a boolean value if we assign true that means here we want to create a capped collection now a capped collection is a fixed size collection that automatically overrides its oldest entries when it reaches its maximum size 
and by default the value of this capped is false when we set it to true it is going to create a capped collection so when you create a capped collection a capped collection is a fixed size collection so that means when you create a capped collection you also need to specify a size so that will be another property which you can set when you are creating a capped collection the value of this size property should be in bytes so let's say the size of this logs collection should be maybe 10000 bytes okay so if the collection has reached this maximum size and after that if we try to insert any more document to this collection then the older records will be deleted and the new documents will be inserted but the size of the collection will never go beyond 10000 bytes so again a capped collection is a fixed size collection when we set this cap to true that means we are creating a capped collection a fixed size collection and when we create a fixed size collection there we also need to specify the size then another property which we need to specify when we are creating a capped collection is max that means what are the maximum number of documents you want to have in the capped collection let's say i want to set this property to 100 that means maximum of 100 documents i want in the capped collection in this logs collection if i try to insert 101 document then the first document should be deleted and the newer document should be inserted to maintain this max size another property which you can set here in this option object is auto index id so this auto index id this i should be in caps so this auto index id it is also going to expect a boolean value true or false if you set it to true what it is going to do is it is going to create an index on the underscore id field of the document the default value for this auto index is false if you set it to true on the underscore id field it is going to create an index now we have not talked about index yet so for now let's not go into the detail of this property but i hope other properties are clear to you so if i go ahead and if i press enter it should create a capped collection a fixed size collection and now if i go ahead and if i say show collections now we should have three collections logs products and users let's go ahead and let's clear mongo shell by typing cls command if you want you can also drop a collection from a mongodb database to drop the collection you can say db dot collection name which you want to drop for example let's say i want to drop the logs collection so i will specify the collection name and on that we can simply call drop method and what it is going to do is it is going to delete all the documents from this logs collection and it is also going to delete this logs collection if i go ahead and if i press enter so it has returned true that means the collection has been dropped and if i say show collections command now you will see that we have only two collections products and users the logs collection has been deleted and finally as we have learned before if you want to query a collection then on the db object you can specify the collection name let's say i want to query the users collection so i can say db dot users dot i can use the find method and this find method is going to fetch all the documents which is present in this users collection and it is going to return all those documents as a list if i press enter you can see it has returned a list it has returned an array and in that array it has all the documents currently in this users collection we have only one document so that document has been returned if we go ahead and if we add one more document so again i'm going to use this insert one command so now this users collection is available so mongodb is not going to create this users collection again because it is already available but when we use this insert one command it is going to insert this document in this document let me go ahead and let me change the name to mark let's say age is 30 and gender is male let's go ahead and let's press enter 
to execute this function this insert one function and when it will be executed it is going to insert this object as a document in the users collection so let me go and let me press enter you can see we have received the acknowledgement and we can also see the object id which has been assigned for that newly inserted document now if i go ahead and if i query the users collection now it should have two documents if i press enter you can see that we have received an array and in that array we have two documents these two documents and each document has a unique underscore id field so this underscore id it is always going to have a unique value a unique object id all right let's go ahead and let's clear mongo shell so in this lecture we learned what is a collection how to create a collection what is a kept collection and how to delete a collection and also how to query the documents from a collection